pasta to pizza at the base of many delicious meals is a terrific tomato sauce. Did you know that making your own sauce is a lot cheaper mm. than buying it in a jar? Michaela's in the kitchen now to show you how. It's funny, a bit of a coincidence, cos... I read, the, read this yesterday. Scientists have created genetically edited tomatoes, each containing as much pro-vitamin D3 as two eggs or a tablespoon of tuna. Smarter plants were created by making tiny changes to the gene. Um, it's approximately three, 13 to 19% of Britain's got low levels of vitamin D. So, I mean, it's that's great for extraordinary, people with a plant-based diet as yeah. well. Mm, yeah, because really they good. sometimes struggle with... They don't take the dairy and everything to get the vitamin D. They haven't but... done the outdoor field trials yet. They're expected to begin in, 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 next month, but that uh, that's quite a... Yeah. A, a, good for you as well as being delicious. And they do it. say that the goodness forward, in yeah. smarter really comes out when you cook it. Yeah. There is something about that, a scientific fact. But what I'm doing here is a staple in our household because this little gem here, this is a classic um, pomodoro sauce that mm -hmm. you put over pasta traditionally. But what is brilliant about it is it works out at 22 pence per person. So really economical, cheaper than buying a jar. Mm -hmm. And look how easy it is. So we're starting a little bit of olive oil. We've got some chopped onions there. Then you go in with the garlic so you don't want this to burn. Um, because the garlic can go a bit bitter if you cook it yeah. or burn it. Um, so that's literally seconds in mm. there. Now then, I've got chopped tomatoes here. If your kids are funny with bits, because I know one of mine is particularly funny, you could blend that at this stage right, okay. so it's super smooth. But this is the classic base tomato sauce. Really and cheap. It. Well, we, and I've got some oh. hidden. Now, these. this is where I think this makes the difference to a store-bought one. We're going to go a tablespoon of um, tomato puree, okay, so a delicious. teaspoon of sugar, because if you want to use cheap tomatoes, cheap tin tomatoes, this will cut the acidity down, and that's like that little bit of a tip mm -hmm. for people wanting to make this economical. Um, I put in, this is my mum's hidden secret, this isn't a spicy sauce, this is a pinch of cayenne pepper. It is not to make it spicy, but and you won't taste it, but it, it should give, like, a depth of flavour and, mm -hmm. and, a, and a warmth to the sauce. And then this is a bit of a cheat. The foodies out there will be horrified, but my mum has always used a stock cube. You crumble it in at this stage. And, and any you... vegetable, chicken? Yeah, chicken, vegetable, whatever really is your preference. Now, you could use proper homemade stock, but... If I'm really honest, yeah. this tastes the same and it cuts a load of time out and it makes it cheaper and simpler. It's really so good. This it? is the sauce, though, but what I think is incredible about this... Now, I make this in batches and I freeze it in small Ziploc bags in my freezer. Then what you can do is create hundreds of different recipes. So here we've got melanzane alla parmigiana, which is your aubergines layered with parmigiano and mozzarella cheese. One of my favourite meals, this. And this is it. You use this base. So you just top it, put your other layer. I've got two layers under there. But look how easy this is. You can pull this out of the freezer. So this is quite laborious to do all the stages. But again, here, you could have this in the freezer. Then you've just got to do your aubergines. You top it. You put some cheese over the top. And I mean... And away you go. Away you go. So that's one recipe. Look, that's... And you could freeze it even at this stage. So good. So that you would like go that? away. And da da da, da. I'm not the biggest Here is one I made earlier. But... Um, I'm not a massive fan. But the other thing here is we've got... My kids, into that, I put a jar of tuna. They love it. It's got that extra protein. My favourite one for dinner parties, olives. Um, mozzarella and spinach, you toss those in to the hot sauce at the end and it is just a completely different dish. Mm. Um, and I'm going to now show you a really quick one if you've got, like, a date night. In here, I have got some butter and um, garlic. Mm. I'm going to throw in a concentrated version of the sauce. So all I did was just reduce it. Yeah. And that goes in there. Let's turn that on. Mm. With a spoon of cream cheese... A splash of vodka. Mm -hmm. Burn off the alcohol at this stage, OK? So this is a vodka and prawn sauce. That goes in there with a spoon of cream cheese. And I've actually... I'm cheating again. I'm using cooked prawns instead of frozen. But you could use frozen. They go in there and into this. You've got a little portion there. Mm. You've got... Look, 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 look. Look how quick this is. I mean, garlic, you've got that lovely tomato. You toss your pasta in, cos it's already... The prawns are already cooked. Yeah. I mean, 
What it's about really lovely. It really it's is. It's dinner party, and I like to top it with some chives, fresh chives. But, I mean, what this dish for me does is, in your freezer, you can go ten different ways. So you versatile. Know, uh, sweet corn, put a bit of chilli in, cheeses, I mean, go wild. Gorgonzola cheese. I've just it eaten really all is. the cheese off the top. Have you? Strip That's a good the bit. There you Thank go. you very much. Really Thank lovely. You. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. No worries. Thanks. Uh, for details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.